Mindful Life Practice Community. Um, so last week we worked on our abundance manifestation check, our check from the universe. Um, and today we're going to spend a few minutes writing to answer the question, what was your money story growing up? So what was your money story growing up? So this could be any kind of childhood experiences with money. I know for myself, it was the narrative I posted about constantly feeling poor growing up in like a middle-class neighborhood, feeling like I had less than my peers. Um, could be maybe something happened with a parent losing a job or um, could be anything. Everyone has a different story, but what was that story? We'll take about five minutes to write.
once you're done with writing your money story, and you can always keep writing, I don't want to rush you. But when you are ready to put your writing down and join us for the practice, We're going to start by placing the palms face up on the lap. Lengthening up through the spine. And just taking five deep breaths in and out. So our breath work is super powerful because as we fuel our body, we fuel our lungs, we fill ourselves up with oxygenated air and we take long, deep breaths. We can actually shift our mindset, right? We can actually shift. If we're feeling more apathetic, when we take big, deep belly breaths through the heart, we can actually shift our mood into a bit more neutral. This is a scientific TED talk that I could go all into details in and, and nerd you guys out on, but I won't. <laughs> But just notice as you've paused and taken those deep breaths, has there been any kind of shift within you? So we spent time in the past writing our money stories, which might have brought up some feelings, brought up some emotions, brought up some memories. And I invite you to see how it would feel on each inhale and each exhale. To just start to let go. How does it feel to let that story lift off of you or empty out of you and release? To start flowing through our practice in a moment, but maybe you set the intention of just releasing that story, knowing that you're not your past, you're not that story, you are simply a human being in this present moment. That's all you are right now. That's it. This moment right now is all that there is. If 
be setting that intention to let go. When you're ready to invite in a little bit of movement with me, we're gonna inhale and lift our arms up towards the sky, big breath in. Good, release your right palm, lift your left arm all the way over towards the right. Lift all the way back up. And then let's rotate. We're going to land our left palm, lift our right arm all the way over to the left. Good. Lift our arms all the way up and let's pivot. We're going to rotate, gaze over the right shoulder. Then we'll lift all the way back up and then rotate the opposite way. So landing the left palm, landing the right palm. Awesome. We're going to come all the way onto the hands and knees. So we're going to lift our arms all the way up, big breath in. Good. Gather the palms into the heart center. And then just arrive in a tabletop pose and move through a few cat cows. You can also do this in a seated shape if that's more comfortable for you. All we're doing is just curving the spine in different ways. And I wonder if you can pinpoint through writing that story that we wrote today, are there any unconscious beliefs that have shaped who you are? Coming all the way through center, leave the left palm where it is, reach the right arm up. Go ahead and then send the right arm under, landing onto the cheek and the shoulder. So maybe, like for me, it was um, this constant belief of like, I'm too poor. Where will I get the money for that? Right. I distinctly remember in in Christmas of 2019, right before I got sober, I was on this backpacking trip through Southeast Asia and I met this 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 billionaire, this kid that was super, super rich, <laughs> one of those rich kids from from the States. And I and I told him, you know, I dreamed of starting a yoga business. Or I think I said, I dreamed of being a full-time yoga teacher, but I just can't make enough money doing that. And he said to me, well, why don't you just start a business? And I was like, I would never, I could never have the money for that. <laughs> was what I responded to him. Come all the way back through center. And then we're going to thread the left arm the opposite way. So lift the left arm up, big breath in. And then thread the left arm under. And so I remember being kind of irritated by him, kind of annoyed because he was like this annoyingly, you know, well-off person who talked about starting a business as if it was that simple. <laughs> and thinking that I would never be capable of it. And then it was only a few months later when I met my psychic, Dan, who said to me, you know, I was sober. I was 30 days into my sobriety. He said to me, you're going to start a yoga business. You're going to start a retreat center, a healing center. And it was only when he put this idea in my mind, did I shift my thinking around it, right? And nothing changed from that point. Let's unwind the left palm. And then we're going to take our knees a bit wide, our toes together. And then sit the hips back on the heels. And if you want to snuggle up with like a pillow um, or anything, I'm gonna bring my pillow forward and my little rug forward. And I'm just gonna snuggle onto this pillow on this rug. But the reason why I bring up this story is because nothing changed in my life between that day that I met that, 
that really rich person who, who said to me, you should start a business. And I said, you know, I would never have the money for that. Nothing changed between that moment and the moment when I was sober and met my psychic who said that I was going to start a yoga business, right? The only thing that changed was me, right? It was my attitude, my mindset for something that I didn't believe was possible into it being something that I believed was possible. And so I wonder if you can pinpoint any stories or any moments from your money story that have shaped the way you think, shaped the way you act, shaped any choices you make. Is there anything in that money story that's holding you back? Good, we'll remain in this child's pose for just a couple more minutes. really connecting to our breath and letting our breath help us find the middle and the moment. Taking a few more breaths where you are. And then we're just going to slowly roll up out of that child's pose. So coming all the way back up. Nice. Now the next pose I'm going to invite you to make your way into is a forward fold. And so you can do this pose dangling. You could support yourself on a piece of furniture. You bend the knees a lot. Just let the head and neck go. And I love this forward fold pose. Well, I love targeting the hips in this class in particular. Because the hips are where we carry our emotional junk. Mm -hmm. 
The hips are where we carry all of our stress, all of our tension, all the chaos. That's all in the hips. And so when we're doing a class that's targeted at letting go, at releasing, and this is the part of the body where we want to focus on. And I like this forward fold in particular too, because forward folds can mean so much. Right? They help us turn inwards. They help us reflect. And they help us let go. Like you can almost feel the weight of the world rolling off your shoulders in a pose like this. So see how it feels to release here and let go. I'm going to invite you to come back to some of those affirmations, some of those mantras that we practiced last week. It is my right to be rich. I deserve financial freedom. The universe's wealth flows to me in avalanches of abundance. Large sums of money come to me easily. And it's always this or something more. Gently roll all the way up to stand one vertebrae at a time. And then as you come up to stand, can you let your head just balance on both shoulders and feel how it feels to be lengthening straight up. And we're going to come into seated and do a couple of shoulder stretches before we come down onto our back. So I'm going to invite you to open your arms into cactus arms. And then draw the left arm underneath the right and either high five the hands or just grip opposite shoulders. Awesome. So yeah, perfect. Yeah, you got it. So these are eagle arms, Garudasana arms. 
Yeah, so either hands like this or all the way like that. Yeah, or somewhere in between. Perfect. And this is going to help release shoulder tension. You can modify finding a different variation that works for you. I was out to lunch today with my friend who refuses to try yoga, but also has neck and shoulder pain <laughs> and tension. <laughs> and you know, when you like, don't want to be that annoying friend who's giving advice because advice is really annoying. <laughs> He's complaining about the tension in his neck. It's like, why are you smiling? <laughs> And I'm just trying to stop myself from saying, you know, you should really do yoga. <laughs> I don't know who else has had this experience, but the aches and the pains in my body have disappeared since I do yoga. And when I take time away from yoga, I feel the difference. And it's now something that I can't go without a day without practicing yoga because it helps me so much. Wonder if you have had that experience too. Yoga is really about letting go of everything, right? Our aches and pains, both physically and mentally. Right. If you want to fly, you got to get rid of the stuff that holds you back. Let's take one more breath in this eagle stretch. And then we're going to come the opposite way. So we're going to unwind. And then wind the arms in the opposite way. Good. Either gripping the shoulders or maybe weaving the hands all the way together. Nice. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> and then just taking deep breaths in and out. Coming back to those mantras. It is my right to be rich. I deserve financial freedom. The universe's wealth flows to me in avalanches of abundance. Large sums of money come to me easily. And it's always this or something greater. Good, let's unwind at the arms. See how that feels to let go. And then just gently drop your right earlobe down towards your right shoulder. Maybe you lift the right palm up, land it at the side of the skull and just breathe into the left traps muscle. And then lift your head all the way back up through center and then drop the earlobe the other way. So over to the left.
And we'll take two more simple stretches before we come into our manifesting meditation. So we'll lift the head all the way up and just come onto the spine. And this you can also do from the seated shape. So you could cross the right ankle seated on a chair. You're just kind of stretching into this part of the body, the hip flexor. So you could cross the ankle. You could do it seated on the ground, on a chair, or you could come back onto the spine and then interlace the palms on the shin or the thigh. So different options. There's so many different ways to do each pose. So it's really just making it work for you. Is my right to be rich? And I deserve financial freedom. The universe's wealth flows to me in avalanches of abundance. Large sums of money come to me easily. And it's always this or something greater. Let's release the left foot, release the right foot, and then we're gonna switch it the opposite way. So cross the left ankle on top of the right. And then we're just gonna lift the right leg up, interlacing the palms and the thigh or the shin. Let's release the right foot and release the left foot. And then just open the arms into cactus arms and draw the knees all the way over to the right and gaze over the left shoulder, just coming into a spinal twist. Then open your right arm, draw the knees all the way through center, and then drop the knees the opposite way.
Open your left arm. Let's draw the knees all the way back through center. Give your body one last little hug. And then slowly stretch out into either a Shavasana or maybe you come to join me in a seated shape. Taking whatever pose is comfortable for you for this meditation. So this manifesting meditation is going to allow you to amplify your attracting power. And you will align yourself with the energy of the universe. So that you manifest the changes you desire. Knowing that the ability to manifest is within each of us. And the most helpful thing we have access to at any time is our breath. And so by honoring our breath, when we're ready to set intentions, it creates a powerful experience. So let's start first by setting the intention to manifest the abundance that you desire. I manifest financial freedom. I manifest wealth. I manifest financial safety and security. And then just honor your breath by taking five deep breaths. So manifesting is easy once we know the recipe. It's just three things, desire, dedication, and trust. Desire is the first ingredient of manifestation. We have to know what we want. And we have to want it so greatly that we can clearly see any path we must take to get there. Knowing exactly what you're manifesting is very important. The more details you can visualize, the better. So just take a moment to think about your dreams and your aspirations. Why do you want this abundance? And see as many details as possible. And dedication is the second ingredient in manifestation. 
right? Only you can put this effort in to take steps towards your desires. Only you can network with others. Only you can practice these meditation techniques or yoga techniques every day. So you must dedicate time every single day to do something that takes you closer to gaining what you seek. Only you can do this. No one else can be dedicated for you. Manifestation starts with you. And the last ingredient in manifestation is trust. And this is the easiest and the hardest part because you just simply let go. You let go of thinking too hard about the things you have to do to bring it all together. you have confidence that these things always fall into place perfectly. You have to know with certainty that this goal is attainable, so have faith. And take a few moments now to really trust in these desires becoming a reality. Just notice how you are feeling right now. Now say to yourself, I know I can achieve my aspirations. I deeply believe in myself. I put in daily dedication that is required of me. I always believe in myself. And I trust the loving energy of the universe. Now imagine now that you have already attained everything that you dream of and see yourself vividly in your mind, having this financial freedom, having this abundance, having this wealth, where does it leave you? What does it give you? And what is your life like with it? Notice what you look like, who you're talking to. And the more details you can add, the better. See the surroundings, where you are, the places you'll go, who is around. And know that this practice is changing your life for the better. So we'll remain here for a few more minutes and just keep these three words with you. Desire, dedication, and trust. Letting go of the story. And what we're doing here is creating a new story a new financial story for each one of us here. I know that I'm going to bring you back in a moment when the time is up.
Please let me feel in a peace from the center at the center of me. Please let me feel in a peace from the center at the center of me. Please let me feel in a peace from the center at the center of me. Please let me feel in a peace from the center at the center of me. Start to give your body a little wake up wiggle. If you're on your back, you're just gonna make your way up to seated. Anchoring the palms at the heart center. And we're gonna take a breath in for Alexandra, who joins us from Greece. We'll take a breath in for Ali. who joins us from London. I'll take a breath in for Jeff. She joins us from the States. We'll take a breath in for Jessica, who joins us from Brazil. We'll take a breath in for Lee, who joins us from the States. Take a breath in for Liz. Who joins us from the States. A breath in for Sarah in the UK. A breath in for Tamara in the States. A breath in for Tasha in the States. And then a breath in for Yasser with me in Abu Dhabi. I feel like the Americans are really taking over this community. <laughs> Take a breath in for this whole community from all around the world, which holds us and supports us. 60% of my podcast listeners are American, so it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> and I'm so, so grateful for the presence of each one of you. It really means a lot. Now we close with our intention. It's an ancient intention, but it's the original intention. And it was passed from the heart of my teacher and I pass it onwards to you. And it's that our practice remain steady and our efforts remain continuous and that our yoga helps and heals and it serves and it benefits all beings everywhere. May all beings be safe. 
May all beings be happy, be healthy, and be free. And may the thoughts and the actions of each of our lives contribute towards this. So let's finish with an ohm and we're gonna breathe in, breathe out and breathe in to make the ohm. So take a large breath in. And then a deep breath out. Big breath in. Thank you, Yogi, so much for sharing your energy, your presence, your light with me. I am so, so grateful for each one of you. I, I say this all the time, but it would not be the same without you. I would just be sitting in my living room alone. <laughs> so your, your presence really makes a difference and I appreciate it so much. The light in me, it sees and it honors the light in you. Thank you.